Hey friends, I'm in the car. It's just so much quieter when I'm in the car when I'm trying to do a video. I am getting ready to go to my booth and drop some more Christmas stuff off. And I'm also gonna go do um, some thrifting probably at Salvation Army or Goodwill. But I wanted to do this while I got a chance. A couple of you said you'd be interested in seeing how I do my booth resets. So I've been making notes and getting some ideas. And I'm thinking that I'll probably have to do a series um, just so it doesn't get too long. And I'm thinking about calling these little videos that have to do with like my booth resets called um, Vintage Vignettes with Jess because I'm like collecting items and displaying them and everything. So let me know what you think. Um, but right now it's Christmas so time. I don't know. When I'm thinking about my next upcoming booth reset, I'm thinking of Valentine's Day after Christmas. So the first thing that I do is I always try to look ahead and see if there's any holidays or season changes or anything. And Valentine's Day is what I want to decorate for after all the Christmas is out of my booth. So I've made a list here of things that I want to try to hunt for while I'm out and about and things that I'm hoping to collect. Some of these things I've already got some um, collected and some of them are just things I'm still looking for. So I made a list of like birds, roses, Victorian art, champagne buckets, letter holders, bows, sconces, cozy blankets, you know, heart, like bunt pans and things like that, cookie cutters. Um, so I have an idea of what I'm looking for and I've also already gathered some inspiration photos from Pinterest which I'll show some of those here with you in just a second. So that's how I always start. I gather information or inspiration and I make a list. So now that I've done those things, I'm gonna go see if I can find any of the items that are on my wish list. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I just got to my booth. Um, I don't think I'll have time to go to the Salvation Army because it's already almost three o'clock. So we'll probably just go to a Goodwill. But, um, so I'm going for a very romantic, classy, elegant, timeless Valentine's Day. Like, I don't want it to be like commercial, cheesy, Valentine's Day. I just wanted to clarify that with you. And also while I'm here, let's see if I can balance this. Um, I'll show you one of the things I made for, for my booth. I had this gold tray that I found at Goodwill and I have these apples. Um, they're fake. I glued all of this on the tray. Um, I had these in my booth for fall and summer and they didn't sell. I just had them like as is in a container. A really pretty tarnished silver bowl and they did not sell. So I decided that I'm gonna try again. So I took some cloves and put them in the apples and then I just glued a ton of Christmas greenery and some berries on this little gold tray. This is not like a real brass vintage tray. It's just a newer gold tray. So um, we'll see if that sells this time. But I just thought I would show you all that and I've got to make a tag for one of the items that I'm bringing in that I really wasn't sure if I was going to sell or not. It's a vintage luggage rack that is red and green and super cute. Um, but somebody just said they were interested earlier, so I figured I would put a tag on it and put it in the booth and see if it sells, it sells. If not, I just have to keep it. 
So let me make a tag and drop this stuff off and then we'll go over to Goodwill. Okay, so I just made it to the Goodwill and it's a good thing I took my little luggage rack up there because I already sold them. Um, it does look really busy here. The parking lot's full and there's even a U-Haul. So this is gonna be awkward and weird. I've never filmed while I'm shopping before. So we'll see. I'll try my best to get some footage and we'll see how it goes, but wish me luck. Okay, I just got back from being in there. That was so busy. The U-Haul is definitely a warning sign. There were no carts, there were no baskets, but it wasn't that busy. That's what's weird. Like it wasn't jam packed full of people. I don't know, it was weird. Um, so I did not film anything. My idea for this series, I think it'll have to be a series because it may take um, a little bit longer. We'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna kind of explain my thought process and where I start and then we'll, we will end the video um, of the series with me showing my booth like all set up and redone. So, sorry about the lighting if it's bad. It's the sun setting and it's getting late, but I wanted to do this so I have the opportunity because my boys are playing outside. So, it might be a little quiet, but you will hear the dogs click clacking with their nails on the hardwood. So once I've made my list and I have an idea of what I'm going for, then I will go thrifting and looking, treasure hunting as I like to call it, looking for the items to collect for my booth reset. And I start collecting a month or two in advance just so I can get a really nice grouping of things to take to my booth because when, you know, one season or holiday is over, I like to freshen it up and have it looking brand new and gets the customers excited, gets me excited. So that's just how I do it. Um, so I was thinking for this little series that is gonna be all about like my booth and how I plan it and everything. What do, what do we think about calling it Vintage Vignettes with Jess? Since I will be hunting for vintage style or inspired items uh, and then displaying them into little vignettes in my booth so let me know what you think about that and in this series i plan on um showing you all how i start brainstorming by season theme uh, gathering my inspiration making my lists thrifting creating the collections, then I can show you like the cleaning process, tagging and pricing, um, research that I do that goes into the items that I find, and then the display, the reset as a whole, and a little tour of my booth. And my booth's not very big, so um, yeah, it's, it's kind of tricky to make it look really good without looking too cluttered up because it is a smaller size, but so that's my thoughts and my ideas. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. But what I figured I could do for today is I did go thrifting. I went to the Goodwill and I found a couple of things that would fall into the category of Valentine's Day. So I thought I would share everything I found with you all, even though there's only a couple of things that really go with the theme. But I'll share it all with you. And then I'll go out to the garage and show you all the things I've collected so far because I do have a pretty nice little pile out there that I'm specifically saving for after Christmas. So without further ado, let's see what I found today. Start with the um, Valentine's Day romantic style items that I found today. And the first thing we'll start with is this lamp. <laughs> so it's got the little crystals hanging down and I like that it is glass, a glass base. Um, I don't think this is old at all. It may be vintage, but I'm going to have to replace just a couple crystals on here, but this is just like my lamps in the bedroom, except I have like a, 
a brass version of this. So I just thought that looked romantic. Um, I'll have to clean it up and replace the crystals, but I, I don't know. Anything with those little teardrop crystals or chandelier crystals, I think is just extra romantic. So I grabbed the lamp and I spent 35 or $36 on everything I got today. Then I found this and I don't like what's in here. I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible, but for me personally, I'm not gonna leave this in here. I'm gonna take all of the flowers and definitely the grapes out. But the base, I thought really fit the romantic theme. I love the wreath detail on here. And I just thought this was a very romantic looking planter, I guess you will call it. So I loved that. This was $4.99. The lamp, I think was $3.99 if I remember correctly. The tag is on the very bottom. And the next thing that I found that will go with my Valentine's Day theme is this big frame. It's got the ornate details and it was $1.99. I don't know if I want to rub and buff it to make it look more brass or gold, but I did think these little details um, do fit that elegant style that I'm going for. Um, and what I do with frames is, I've shown this before in other videos, but I'll look at books in the Goodwill or Salvation Army, yard sales, wherever. You can find a really affordable book or even magazines. Um, and a lot of times there will be really neat pictures in there that you can just frame and it creates a really nice piece of art that looks expensive and you didn't pay much at all for it. So I'm going to look through my little stash of art, art <laughs> that I have uh, collected and we'll see if I can fit anything in the frame that'll make it even more, um, you know, romantic elegant all that and then i did get this really pretty glass dish i guess this is like a dessert bowl but i love how pretty this is this would be really pretty with a candle inside or just with a dessert or um, a bunch of bath bombs i just thought this was really gorgeous and perfect for what I'm going for. That was $3.99. <clears throat> I found this little pan and it's got the little heart shapes. So I grabbed this, it was only a dollar. So I thought that would be perfect for my theme. And I think that is it when it comes to like Valentine's Day romantic type things. Um, but I'm going to show you the rest anyways while we're here. I did grab just a few things that are Christmassy that I will be using in my booth um, before Christmas is over. Every single Christmas thing I have is currently in the booth. And I know it's only a week away, so um, I don't have too many more days to worry about filling in with Christmas. But... It is nice to have a few new pieces to bring in before. So I found this chippy little Santa, I think he's a soap dish. I just thought that was super cute. And I like that he's chippy. It makes him look more vintage. And he'll be going in my booth soon. And then I found this little Christmas tree pillow with the presents underneath. And the last Christmas thing is this really nice, just like pine wreath. It's very realistic and full looking and very good shape. And it's got the nice hook to hang. So I got those. And then um, just kind of some random things I found. This little pillow is made out of a flower sack or made to look like a flower sack. I just thought that was pretty cute. I could put that in my booth any time of year, but I, I don't know, when I saw it, I really think of fall, the burlap. So um, 
I also found this little terracotta jack-o'-lantern. I really like finding jack-o'-lanterns that look happy. But they look scary. I don't get them. Um, but I thought he was cute and happy. So he will go in my booth. And then I found three of these equestrian trophies and they were only a dollar a piece. What I plan on doing to these, I've done this before too. Um, I cover them in rub and buff and then black paint over top to make them look really aged and vintage. And I'll try to sell them during derby or um, fall. Anytime really would be fine, but I'm gonna cover this up probably. Um, and then take this off. And I might even see if my husband can remove the extra end over here. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. But I just really liked the little like wreath detail on these. I know that one was missing it. But I grabbed three of those for a dollar. I figured it's worth a try. And then I did get this little um, boxwood. I guess it's a topiary. This was $3.99. I don't like the bottom, but that's okay because my plan for this is I'm probably gonna keep it. When I saw it, it really reminded me of how people take, um, you know, the moss balls or whatever, the really big ones and stick them down in champagne buckets. I thought this would be a good size for that. And I think it'll look really good. So we will see how that turns out. But that is everything I grabbed today. Not a whole lot, but it's a nice few things to add into what I already have. So before I head to the garage and show you my collection so far, let me grab my little collection of art that I ripped out of books and magazines, and I'll show you that too. So over here in this dresser, I keep a little thing here where I have all kinds of clippings and things that I've taken out of books, out of magazines, and a lot of them I don't cut all the way around because I like knowing the information on there, but I mean I've got all sizes, just different prints, and some of them have one on the front and the back because I couldn't decide which one I liked the best. But how pretty is that little house? So, got all kinds of stuff. I think all of these came out of an art book that I got for a dollar. And then, this is a different book that I had too. He came out of a magazine. This could work for Valentine's Day with the, she's got the florals and the oranges and the fancy glass dish with the champagne. This might be the one. So anyways, I just wanted to show you all this as a good little hack for you. Anybody can do this. Just start looking through old magazines and looking for art books when you go thrifting and then you can frame artwork very inexpensively and it looks really good so whoops she looks very valentine's day ready too Okay, now let's go out to the garage and I'll show you my collection so far. So here you can see I've collected a lot of floral items and Victorian art.
can see I've been collecting floral print pillows back there, angel candlesticks, and this little angel bird bath. And I even found this rose topiary. And here I have a little stack of vintage style postcards and a jewelry box. I love these little bow brass hooks. I have two of them. And these little candlesticks have roses on the top with the gold. And I will probably paint this white. I found this vintage Valentine's Day book and it's got all kinds of pictures on the inside. And the coloring and detail on the top, along with the vintage style of this little tapestry, really, really gave me a Valentine's Day feel. So I'll add this to the reset. plan on creating a little gallery wall with the different types of art I've collected. I've got some actual dried flowers that are framed, needle points, and lots of Victorian art and birds. Basically anything floral and feminine is exactly what I'm wanting to add in and also bows as you can see here brass bows are going to be a big part of my booth reset and things I look for this is a antique silver set like silverware and there is a few pieces in the box Hopefully this will give you a little idea of what I'm going for. I also have this piece hanging on the wall over here in the garage and I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it for myself or include it in the Valentine's Day set. I have to show you the sunset, look at it. It's so pretty. Our windows are dirty, but, but look how pretty that is. Okay, so I am going to clean up this mess, bring all the Valentine's Day stuff out to the garage with everything else I've gathered up. Um, and then the next video I do in this little series will be um, cleaning everything up pricing tagging and researching and then if i have time or of course if i go um thrifting over the weekend i'll show that too um because i still haven't found a vintage like letter holder or what are they called mail holder anyways <laughs> i'm looking for one of those and a few other things that I haven't found. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you'd like to see the process of like cleaning up, I know that sounds kind of boring, but I don't know, somebody might like to see um, the work that goes into having a booth if you don't have one. It might be interesting just to see a little behind the scenes. Um, so yeah, cleaning up, pricing, researching, packing, and then if I have time, I'll go on and reset the booth. Um, it'll probably be a week or two and it'll be time to get it set for Valentine's Day. So just let me know what are your thoughts. If you think this sounds like something you'd like to see. Um, I hope so because it gives me an idea of things I could be filming for you. Um, but until then, I hope you all have a really 
good Christmas. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.